part nine and the half marathon video got us through week 15 and a half of our 23 week training plan, couch to marathon. Half marathon week got us up to 22 miles that week. That's a lot of miles for me, but probably not where I should be. I should be pushing closer to 30 miles at this point in my training. What it do, I don't know if there's ever been a day that I don't want to run as much as today since I started this adventure. Uh, the other day, the five mile was tough. We were supposed to do six the next, but I had stomach problems and all kinds of things yesterday. It was cold, it was like 30 mile per hour winds. So now we're gonna do five today, and then we have 12 on Saturday, if we even do the five today. I don't know what happened with that half marathon. It changed me. I, I just, I think I lost it. Um, I'm hoping to get it back. I'm, I'm still excited about the marathon. We just have a lot of garbage miles to get now to build up to the 26 miles. Well, that's why you show up. I did not want to run. If Hager wasn't here, I would not have came and ran today. I would have stayed home and cried and just not ran, not got it in. But we got together. We decided we're gonna do a slower pace and we just chilled, tried to get into a slow groove and we busted out a five and a half. That's gonna work. It's gonna get us ready for the 12 this weekend. Things are looking good. I'm hoping I get back into the groove fully before where I was before the half marathon and we're gonna be cruising. Don't worry guys, we're cruising. We're gonna get it done. We have less than 10 weeks left till the marathon. And I know the passion's gonna come back hard once we start getting these longer miles in. All right, me and Hager are getting ready to hit a 12 mile back road run. It's gonna warm up a little bit. It's really chilly right now, but it is what it is. Uh, tired, my right foot was swollen last night, taking my dog out. I don't know why. I felt like I was coming down with something. Um, it was swollen a little bit this morning when I put my shoe on, so I've been resting and elevating. See what happens. I don't know if it's diet, sickness, what, but we got 12 miles to get in either way, so let's get it in. Eight miles in, grabbing a stinger. Not even hungry, just kind of been craving it. The Just did a gel at three and six. Eat this now, finish the last four miles strong with Hager here. Lots of hills, so we're taking her slow and easy, getting her in. Well, not much to say about that. The first six to eight miles felt cold and tough and hilly um, but we got through it pretty good uh, mile 10 and a half to 11 and a half there we were struggle bussing some of the the big downhill initially was a big or the big uphill initially was a big downhill and that is so painful on the joints so tough to get down um, we did it our goal was a 12 minute pace to go slow it was a lot slower than that in the end due to the hills but it turned out to be a really good training run for things to come let's keep kicking butt all right team we got a bunch of things against us today nobody because he's injured right now uh hopefully it only lasts a few days maybe a week no spandex so my knees aren't compressed like normal but it's warm out so we're going to try to run in just shorts and no beanie, no sweatband. I'm exposed to the elements. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but, and it's raining. Did I have that in there yet? We're gonna hit, what the heck was that? And it might storm. We're gonna hit five miles really fast. We're gonna do track. Some people hate running around the track. It doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna see, it's been a while since we've ran the track because it's I've been with Hager all these other runs. But it's time to get back at it, get the miles in, see what happens. Hurdles. 20-something years ago, I used to do 
110 high hurdles and high jump. That 110 high hurdles is the longest I ran. Uh-oh, it's lightning. Three miles in, uh, it was a pretty rough start. I didn't feel like I was actually moving. My knees are probably hurting from the 12 mile hills still, but we're still getting it. Um, getting rained on constantly. Proof of rain, the, uh, the weather is gonna be dependent if I finish five miles or not. I'd like to get it in. I've really slowed down the last mile and a half, but I'd like to get in the full five, we'll see. Whoop, let's go. So at the three mile mark, I was genuinely considering stopping and blaming on this storm that's coming because I could see the lightning. And I was struggling, it was like 11 point something mile pace. And then I just kept going and the four mile pace said uh, 1028. And I was like, hmm. So that last mile I booked it. I just felt like running and it was a great pace. I, I think, you know, I got these long, skinny chicken legs and I think that they're meant to be kicked and I'm just not kicking them, you know, because my breathing and cardio is still not there, but I think I can get it there. I'm pretty excited, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. That's where we will be. We got a lot of work to do. I don't know what week I'm on, but I'm excited. I don't know how the marathon's gonna go, but we are gonna find out. All right, gang, the five mile went great yesterday. Tonight we got a solo seven. We're going back on the trail because I'm considering doing a 25K trail run here at the end of the month. We'll see if that works out. I'm gonna get seven in solo without my buddy Hager. Um, he's gonna attempt to run tonight and see how his injury's doing. We'll see how that goes. Hope it goes well. Uh, I'll let you guys know how this goes. The My girls are going to walk the trail. And I'm, my goal is to do three laps before they can do one lap. Let's beat them. All right, just past the girls the first time. Um, I ran a little additional at the bottom. So I'm going to have to do two laps. I'm at four miles. That's pretty rough. Not feeling it today. You know, the whole work-food combo that I usually talk about. Um, but we're going to finish strong. Uh, no matter what happens, I'm going to get over six. If I get to seven, great, but I got dinner to eat. Well, we got six miles in on the trail. Um, pretty sore after the five yesterday. Uh, I, I may need to take two days rest before doing 14. My knees and ankles just hurt, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get a few miles in, at least a little shake up, shake off, whatever you call them, uh, and go from there. Keep running keep doing our thing okay it's it's too windy to try and record my fit check game we have a 14 miler solo i'm going to try the track i'm going to try 56 laps a uh, mental challenge and i don't want to get onto any uneven surfaces right now due to how my knees were feeling at the end of our last run it's going to be very tough uh i can divert and come up and then go down the road for miles from here if the track gets too boring. But the wind is what I'm worried about. I don't know if I can continuously stay for two and a half hour in this straight 20 mile per hour wind. But we'll see. We're gonna give it our best shot today. Four miles in. I got the sniffles and it reminded me that Friday I had a light fever. So we rested Saturday. And this run is happening on Sunday. I'm hoping it was enough. Um, I don't feel too bad. Just over 10 minute pace. I'm starting to slow down though because I was a little much out the gate. Nine miles in. We're in some pain. Uh, barely moving now. Getting closer to 12 minute pace. Don't care about the pace. My right ankle, the problem ankle. Feel swollen and throbbing. We got five miles to go. 12 miles. We're all but done here. I almost stutter stop every few laps. Once I stop, stop, I gotta stop. 14's the goal, but it's not a benchmark by any means that I care about. I am in pain and I can barely move. Just over 12 miles, I think. 
during my training, I'm gonna consider this one a failure. Everything else I say, hey, that's not a failure. I did the best I could, etc., etc. But I should have finished that. I don't know if it's the wind, which is an excuse. I don't know if it's the sickness a couple days ago. I don't know if it's the missing a run a week the last few weeks and only getting two of the shorter training runs in per week. I got to get three in. Just everything is in the way. My job. <sighs> my family. My nutrition. My sleep schedule. My hobbies. I forget what hobbies I had. But everything is in the way of my running goal. And I got to start getting the three short runs in during the week in order to be able to accomplish these longer runs during the weekend in order to be able to accomplish this marathon in just like six weeks maybe less i'm not sure this is getting hard this is getting really hard